the price of food has really gone so high. So me feeding you people with meat once a week at least. I'm trying to squeeze on our budget. But I promise tomorrow will be chicken night, okay? Mm -hmm. Chicken. Mm -hmm. Chicken, okay. It's better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> because I know the price of basic foods like you know, mm -hmm. is actually not affordable. Mm -hmm. But that is not me. Meat is luxury. <laughs> <laughs> Just he did not say a bad economy, but due to bad economic times. That's a reputation of what I just said. Just that you went in the one time. Mm -hmm. Children, let's talk him more eating sour. Mm -hmm. you no, know, our leaders have failed in implementing development agendas. You know, back in our days in school, we would actually. You see, free meal, literally. Free. Really? Yeah. Mm. 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 That's what I'm trying to. I'm, I'm telling you. Uh, okay. <laughs> Same line when both of you used to say that you are always positioned in class until we discovered you actually schooled the same class, yet Hart was also position one. <laughs> you know what, where, Mom? Every parent used to say that in confidence, hoping to motivate their children. So, that's our. Okay. <laughs> However, <laughs> we deserve visionary leaders with the leadership skills that come as a calling, not some fat appetite for power. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So that, mm. what's your reputation of a good leader? <laughs> Listen, leadership is not about glorious crowning art. No, it is not. Mm? Leadership is about keeping your team focused on a certain goal and motivating that team to make sure they work hard to achieve it. True. You know, a, a leader should be able to literally champion some very good development skills uh, in people, mm -hmm. right? And agenda. Mm -hmm. That's what we need for this country. Yeah. Personally, Dad, I believe leadership is the capacity of a leader to translate a vision into a reality. Mm -hmm. You see, Dad, successful leaders see the opportunity in every difficulty, not the difficulty in every opportunity. Isn't that right? Well, yeah. yeah. That's a lot of sense there. One would take you for a Miss Politician. So who's inspiring all this? Mother, you see, our current leaders, they're living in the helm to make a living. I believe a leader's sole responsibility is to ensure that the lead live more amply with a finer spirit of hope and achievement. You see, Dad? I don't see myself being any special. I just see myself having more responsibilities than the next man. Hmm. Wait, so where are you heading with all of all that? Dad, I wanted to buy for a leadership position in this county. You what? I want to be the next governor for Tumaini County. Dad, come. Just what you've done. You've made your father lose appetite. I thought I was just explaining myself. No, you wait. Stay here. So, that room I was actually true about you planning to buy. Dad, it's a small town. It is expected. Indeed, it is. And because you did not involve me in making such plans, I treat it as a rumor. Dad. Listen to me, Sifa. I did not raise you up and take you to school to become a politician. Right? But Dad. Politics is a dirty game. I cannot have any of my children getting involved in politics when I'm still alive, okay? But I am the change this county needs. I just need a little bit of faith from you guys. The only change you need, Sifa, is change of mind. I educated you. Political science, Dad. I have all it takes. Why can't you believe me? Political science is not a pedigree for you to become a politician, Sifa. You know what, Sifa? Paying attention to your father's wise words. Sawa, sawa. No, furthermore, you have a good job, Sifa. Mm -hmm. Why don't you focus on developing your career and, and, and making your personal life better? Dad, I just need I, a... I will not support that kind of mediocre move in this house. I will go beyond the house for this county, ma'am. You need to believe me. What do I need to do to make you... Really? Really? 
Do you even have the financial muscle to, to fund a campaign? Do you? You don't. Come on, Sifa. Why do you want to send us to an early grave? Oh, come on. I mean, ultimately, this is what you're doing. I cannot stand people peddling rumors and, and all kind of negativity about my daughter, okay? Ah. Sifa. Sifa. I'm with your dad, please. Do you know that politics is not for the faint-hearted? I know that, Mom. You don't? The vision I have for you, now that you have a brilliant job, is to get a family. Let bless us with fine children. Have you seen the insults these guys hurl at each other on TV? She that is it. not your portion, my girl. Mom, Dad, you know I care so much about this community. Tumangi has been my home. And in the past one year, I've done initiatives which have created so many developments here. Dad, from a little girl, you showed me how to be a leader. And Mom, your hard work really inspired me. So despite of the zero support I have from you guys, I'm sorry to say that, I will still be governor of this county. I'm sorry. Sifa? Sifa? Let's continue. Sifa. Nicholas. How are you? How are you doing? I'm very fine. Have a seat. You came on Sudan as a cool, you know. Mm -hmm. Your father told me you're going bananas. You're not cheesy, eh? <laughs> My father. Huh? Indeed, I am bananas. Only not cheesy. More reason he called you. Relax. Nicholas, the strategist is here. Mm -hmm. Nicholas. Mm -hmm. I know full well my boy, my father called you here. Mm -hmm. You have a track record with other politicians. You've mingled with politicians from all walks of life. So, the old man thinks you can talk me out of this race. Just so you know, I'm not backing out anytime soon. Sifa, Sifa. You know, you don't have to back out. I believe you're a leader. But this story, uh, the family could talk their support. One you want to One is important, Sana. Well, Nicholas, it obviously affects me that my family is not supporting me in this race. I need them. But I also have to think about the people of this county. To my me, I have to th keep them in mind. So, the support really right now is not my main concern at the moment. So, what came through your mind? I'm here, sick for dead, and I'm not going to be a governor. I'm not going to be a governor. Nicholas, in the past one year, what have you seen in this county? I've changed lives, so to say. The health system here, you've seen to my any hospital lately. The maternity has changed. Our youth now have more jobs, more opportunities. You remember the investors I called? Mm -hmm. You see now? I did that in the past one year. Imagine what I can do in the next five years or more. Nicholas, I have so much faith in this county. I'm not ready to give up yet. I'm just not ready. Okay, unataka aje sasa ujilikani. Ni umepanga kuhusu campaign na nini ndio kujitambulisha kwa sababu watu I was thinking mm -hmm. we do a TV interview mm -hmm. to capture the interest of our voters. First of all, it will declare my candidate for governorship. What do you think about that? TV interview no na ni mbali sana. Tungeanza na radio, wasi wa mtaani unajua pia ni wasi wa kuanga tu na radio tu hapa na pale. Si akiwa mtaani anashikisha kuanga tu mtaani based on the radio so mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, Nicholas, radio. Nicholas, Nicholas, Nicholas. Radio, who listens to radio anymore? Our youth now have social media. So radio, it's a very small platform. I don't think that will work. I was thinking, what about a press conference? Ah, it always, uh, <laughs> It's a good idea, huh? It's a good idea. So yeah. Nicholas, I need you to make this happen for me. Mm -hmm. I need you to call all, all media houses in this county. I need them today. It's a full house today. Karibuni sana. Thank you. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen of the press today. Today is a special day for the people of this county. My county is a great county with a fascinating history and people such as you guys here. I am proud to call this my home, more so of the over 900 farmers in the north who ensure that our people enjoy food security and supply the surrounding urban areas with fresh produce every single day. 
I am inspired by the 2,000 border border riders who make movement in our county more efficient. I am encouraged by the 4,000 school going children who represent the future development of this county. I am proud of the women in our county who hold families together and raise amazing children. These are the people who make up this beloved county. All 300,000 people, hard working people. But the truth is, we remain marginalized. We are a forgotten people. Our government more so, the local government, has failed to improve on the quality of the service to our people. Have you seen any new schools here? Any hospitals, except the one here, which is pretty much ancient? Have you seen new access road to markets? Anyone? Don't worry, I can wait. Three billion was given to this county for these things. What has JMO done with this money? Instead, we see children dying of ailments which can be prevented. We see mothers and fathers die on road accidents. Because of what? Because of our bad roads. We see our young people depressed because of unemployment. What is development is the main question here. Who can answer me that? Is it buying overpriced clothes or watches like this one? Or is it flying in choppers from one country to another for press conferences in countries even names I can't even pronounce? With our money, three billion Kenya shillings to be exact. Money you and I pay this government. If these are the priorities of our government, then brace yourself for long years of the same struggles. But for you who is tired, angry and exhausted by the likes of JMO, there is a better way. I sought for investors to help me renovate the maternity wing for the Tumaini Hospital. And wasn't that done? How many here have been to the hospital lately? Yes. And in a very short time, as a matter of fact. I am a banker by profession and have managed investments of companies headed by people I call friends. Friends who came here and for one year mentored 6,000 young people on entrepreneurship and helped them start their own businesses. We have seen computer software companies food processing companies, cotton factories being set up in the past one year only. I have created livelihoods, improved healthcare system at our referral hospitals, and sparked the growth of manufacturing companies in this county. I may not be a seasoned politician. Shucks, I'm not even a politician at all. But I think what I have done is development. And I want the people of Tumaini to help me continue in this work. We do not have to look for development funds while leaders line their pockets with our money, our sweat, our blood, and our tears. I say enough is enough. We deserve better, don't we? We should fight for better. Therefore, today, I officially announce my candidature for governor for this county. How are you planning, as a woman, to tussle with their well-connected, wealthy, and more politically experienced male candidates like Jemu mm. Thank you for that question. Well, this race is not about titles or gender. In fact, it is about influence, impact, and inspiration. Could you clarify? Well, impact is about getting results. Influence is about spreading the love you have for work, and you have to inspire the people while you're at it. I believe I have all it takes. Uh, your father has been seen on different occasions criticizing the government, the current regime right now, Jim uh, William C. Could that have had an influence to you, Vine? <laughs> My father speaks the truth. He is noble. I love and respect him. However, he did not influence my decision. It was a personal dream I have always had. Can you ask those mad questions immediately? Yes, I will ask immediately. Okay. Um, is your family in the decision that you're making? I did, as a matter of fact, consult them before I joined the race. Did they give you the blessings? You see, family is very sensitive. Mm -hmm. I do not wish to involve them in politics. I am the candidate. So I take it like you have no consent. I mean, you don't even have a family. So I'm left wondering, how or where do you even get the experience to run a county? You cannot even run your own family. I mean, how? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a brilliant question. Can I ask you a question? Do you believe in women leadership? I'll take that as a no. First of all, it is not a requirement for a governor to have a family. 
and I'd take you as a journalist, you'll know better. Secondly, you mentioned experience. I have a track record for zero tolerance to mediocrity and redundancy. I will protect our resources, unlike the so-called politicians who use their experience to squander the funds of our hardworking citizens. If there are no more questions, I wish to say that the journey has just begun. And trust me, I am not looking back. Thank you so much for your time. I wish to see you again. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Yeah. Daniel, can you immediately come to my office? Yes, Mr. Bariako Dani. Salama sana. Uko salama. I'm fine. Yes. Sasa umecheki kila TV, radio, huh? Mm. Facebook, Twitter. They just talking about me as politician. Ah, Mheshimiwa. Calm down. I'm in control. I got this. <laughs> Wewe unapenda joke sana. Ah, Kila mahali ni sifa. All my friends are calling me, even other governors, telling me who's standard and dog or kitty. <laughs> my friend, eh? We need to do something. Unaskia? Uh -huh. I don't think you understand the implications of us not being in power. Much more I understand. I absolutely understand that. Is this kind of Zoda to Mevanya? You know how we have looted, eh? Mm -hmm. Zoda zitalipuka. Kama watuko kwa ikiti. True. Na huyu mama venye meingia, mm -hmm. if we don't do something, if we don't crush her, She'll get us out of power. Mm -hmm. I want you to organize a press conference in the next one hour. Ah, uh, Moshmiwa, but don't you think that is too soon? Boss, move on their politics and perception. Mm -hmm. We have to feed the media with stories. They are running positive stories about her. We need something negative. People like consuming negative news, especially about women. Unaskia? We need to expose her immorality. Kwanza sahi nataka uonge na wale private investigators wetu. Wachunguze boyfriends wake kutoka nasari school mbaka sahi. Unaskia? Kama hakuna scandal, create one. Give to the bloggers. They run all these stories. Unaskia? So in the next one hour, I need the press people here. Give me two hours, please. Call. No, no, no. One hour. Alafu ite wale wetu, eh? Uzite kila mtu kwa media house. Call our friendly journalist. I'll facilitate everything. Unaskia? Tawo, mwishmi. Alafu tufanya kazi. Barizeni, muko salama, you can have your seats. First of all, I would like to thank you, sana, ndetaka kwa shukuru sana, for ensuring our wananchi are always informed about the good job that we're doing in the county. Because of your responsible journalism, tunawana munaambia wananchi ili mwaneno tunafanya. Nimesikia, iko mama, anaitu wa sifa, and even some of you are covering and that she has announced she uh, she wants to unseat me for the governor seat let me start by saying this huyo mama anatembea akiambia watu kitu ya kwanza that she is resigning her bank job ya kuja kuwa governor what you should know the truth of the matter is she ha she was forced to resign by the bank because of gross misconduct na sasa kama kazi ya bank kusikia mtu ni gross misconduct hiyo ni maneno ina involve pesa. Sasa jamani mtu anafutwa kazi because ya gross misconduct kwa bank. Ndio mnataka mkuja muentrust muentrust with our county resources. Nona. Kwa hivyo she should know she cannot fool us. We know what she has been up to zile vitu amefanya na hatutakubali kamwe hii county yetu iongozwe by a person with questionable character. Huyu sifa she doesn't have a family. She doesn't have a husband, hana boyfriend, just a questionable character. Ambaye sasa ndaka kuja kutuambia ndaka kuwa governor. Sizi tunamuomba kwanza apate familia. And if she has challenges, we have tuko na wanaume wengi kwa hii county. Hata huyu Daniel, huyu jama wangu, hana bibi, we can donate him. Kwanza hakuwe na familia, alafu ndiyo sasa, atake kuwa governor. Sawa sawa. Kitu ya tatu, she's a person with questionable morality. We are in possession. So, we'll see how we're going to get this picture. 
picha ambazo anapigwa anaweka kwa mitandao zingine anatumia watu wengine picha ambazo mpaka watoto wakaona they will learn some very bad things and so he's not a person who even young girls can look up to to become a leader her sister blood sister yuzi aliza kwa kwa kwa, kwa, uh, kwa hospitali ya county ambayo free maternity services are introduced so he is actually one of the greatest beneficiary of all the county programs eh? to protect our county from unnecessary politicking our county all our county grounds especially the public grounds we are closing them down for renovation for the next one year and also our, our social halls zote tunazifanya renovation eh, kama mko na maswali eh, ndio at least tuendelee kwa sababu iko mkutano unaenda well uh, so mine is just a comment um i appreciate your good work you promised us good maternity care you delivered you also told us that you're going to make our roads provide good security electricity you've helped our people access piped water there's good electricity and i must admit the security has improved tremendously thank you so much thank you so much na tafadhali hiyo muandike pia kwa magazeti tashukuru sana eh yes um sir yes. i have a contradictory opinion with my colleague here our roads are bad the electricity she's talking about has not been dispatched yet. We have our nurses on strike. How then can you ascertain claims that all is well? You need to, to be factual, my friend. Eh? Tafadhali, don't report things that will raise tension in this country. I'm sorry, sir, but no, I have no, done no, my no, research. No, 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 no. Please do your research and uh, keep your programs or whatever you say. I would say. like to inform you that I also have my project papers for the field study I did on this county mm. to prove that whatever I'm saying is factual. Mm. That is unnecessary. You are, you are, we understand you are one of the projects being uh, you Sir, have, please can yourself, I finish? Yourself, you are project by CIFA. These yeah, are you know. facts about Senior. this county, sir. No, and no, no, I no. think I have a right as a journalist Asante to... Sana. No, 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 no. Kuna swali ngine? Tafadhali. Asante ni sana. Nimeshukuru sana. Eh, na mnaweza ka mkunywe chai kidogo and we are organizing a small party for you guys after this eh, Daniel you need to organize eh, some facilitation eh ndio waweze kurudi mahali kutoka sawa sawa asanteni sana tuona next time eh As you can see, like negative comments really criticizing me. Sifa, you like have a hundred comments. So why would you even bother about less than 20 comments? That is not even 10% of the people to my account. Yeah, but they're still pretty negative and yeah, they're they affecting are. me. But I thought you said you have zero tolerance for mediocrity. Didn't you say I that? I do, I do. But people yeah. have a right to their own opinion. They do. And that so. is why I'm telling you, you shouldn't actually have to mind about what they have to say about yeah. me. Yeah. We're focusing on the positive. Yeah. yeah. And it actually means people are talking about us, our regime. That means yeah. we're, we're, we're gaining popularity now. We're very relevant. Yeah. Otherwise, there wasn't even people bothering about this. Yeah, you're right. One woman who wants to become governor. No? I think the whole deal is because I'm a woman, not because of anything else. Yes, and most yeah. people don't actually think women can be in leadership and shape. Yeah. Yeah. So it's really, it's really you bad. You see, like here, yeah, they're talking about this one, are talking about negativity, and all those, like 10 of this people here, are all about you. Like, yeah, yeah, like, like, yeah. So let you let them and I talk about you governor. Okay, okay, okay. By doing it, yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah, yeah. Like ini, kumbe TV stuff is heavy, I'm saying. Check to be an account, my ET in real. Kwenda, 
ni watu huboti ya suffocation ya vita. Eh? Tangoja sana. Eh, Lakini, eh, maijiuliza, nini usumbu watu kama cheki tuyo bodi yote amepewa, figakaa hiyo, na kizungu wakaongezewa, imenda shule. Lakini tu anamua kuiwestia yote kwa siyasa. Anafata kute job ingine. I can hear them saying something about you. They're talking about me? Yeah, they are. Well, I think... It doesn't really matter whether it's negative or positive. You have to go face them. I'll go talk to them, okay? Relax. They're my people. I got this, okay? Yeah. Just relax. Hey, guys. Hi. So, you know, I'm running for governorship. And I have a lot of agendas for the youth. And I need your support. Come on, my youth. I need you to back me up. Because I have plans for you, employment plans, everything. I'm all for the youth in this county. Okay? Support so MFM employment. employment. Yes. So that you employ these, see my youth. See, my youth, the past one year, I've created yeah. jobs for you guys in my reforms. So stay tuned for more. In the next five years, it will be better, bigger and better. Okay? So, so oh, Sijani, oh, Sijani. Can you support? Support will share a and a mola. By the new five years. Sawa, sawa. Debe yeah. Hey, good things are coming your way. I hope especially my youth, because I am one of you guys. Okay. We are one. We have better reforms. So, I do have better reforms and agendas. I'm actually bringing power back to the people. It's ah. not my power. Yes. So, I yeah. can yeah. that to sort of our name. By the way, I'm sure many leaders, many politicians come here by and give you lunch, give you 50 bob, give you 100 bob. But they, for the next five years they're in power, you guys suffer, you guys struggle to even get that lunch. Am I right? When they're looking for votes, they, they buy you lunch, they buy you drinks, everything. How about you get a leader? Ooh, I won't buy you lunch now, but for the next five years you'll be enjoying the fruits of my reforms. So you can buy lunch for the next 30 years for your own. Yes. Does that sound good? Yeah. So you guys enjoy your lunch, and I'm looking forward to working with you guys. Which sorts? Don't worry about that. Hey guys, we are all done. We are done. Tumekusanyika hapa kwa kusudi la jambo moja tu ambalo ni kumsiza gavana wetu mtarajiwa mama aliyesoma na kutajika yeah. aliyeumbwa akaumbika yeah. wenye macho ya ninga yeah. shingo la upanga yeah. mama wenye mugidi mugidi yeah. wenye shigidi yeah. shigidi haya basi waswahili wako tupaka mafuta katika chupa la sali waliposema kwamba ngoja ngoja umiza nini Matumbo. Matumbo na mutura angoji nini? Angoji kastoma Sifa hoe Sifa hoe Haba situnyosha mikono yotu mbili Ili tuwezo kumkaribisha gafwa na wetu mtarajiwa Sifa dede Watu watumaini. Raundi hii ushindi ni wetu liwe? Liwalo. Liwe? Liwalo. Tumechoka na ahadi za uongo. Simechoka. Tumechoka. We as people of Tumaini, we deserve better, don't you? Yes. Don't you believe that? Let us gather ourselves in masses. We vote out the lazy and greedy politicians who exploit people like you and me. Yeah. Do you agree with that? Yes. How many people here have registered as voters here? Miona Mikono. Mikono Zikwapi. In the past one year, people of Tumaini, I have done so much for this county. Look at our maternity ward. The entrepreneurship programs I have started. How many people have benefited from these programs here? Miona Mikono. I wasn't even a political leader in this county. 
Now imagine in the next five years. Ndakwa ni mepanya vitunga piuku. Mingi. I am here to serve my people. That is my main agenda, and I am not promising this. I am saying this. Are you with me? Yeah. Are you with me? Yes. At the end of the day, people of Tumaini, who ushindi is your wang? Ni ushindi wetu. This will not be my victory, but the victory of everyone here. Sasa, sasa ni wakati wa mama. Do you believe that? Yes. People of Tumaini, I will be governor of this county. Do you believe that as I do? Yes! I mean it you. I mean it you. Do you believe that? Yes! I want to hear that one second. Do you believe that? Yes! The dawn of change begins now. Safari umeanza sa hizi. Na hatu smami, hatu smami, hatu banduki. Tupo hapa, hapa! Mama Wabi! I'm the governor of this county. So what? I can be everywhere in this county. Not for long, Jemo. Today we were inspecting these grounds for a development project that we intend to do. So how did you run it? So no, no. This is how it works. This is how it works. This is skin condition. This is not ending here, Jemo. No, no. This is skin condition. Jemo. Where people last last. Where people last last. My my sister. Now I see people no longer want to be. My sister. People no longer want to be. That was that was my sister. What you do, my advice? She's not your sister. My sister. She's your opponent. Whatever she is, open up yours. Siasa, si our name. I don't care. Why go and open my name? Siasa, siasa, siasa. Why you ask me? Shadu anani yomnyonge. Shadu anani yomnyonge. Mom, this is just part of what I face. Either way, my people are more dominant, so... No, let me ask. What more do you want to show that you're risking your life? Mom, I'll have a bigger and better rally next time. Trust me. Look, look, look what I found. What? It's a letter from Sifa to the people of this country. What? What's this? I am pleased to say I have stepped out of this race to pay way for better candidates. Thank you for your time and support. I will try next time. You're truly Sifa, baby. Congratulations. Are you serious, mom? Now I have seen you symbolize. Someone else behind all this. This is not true. What? No, this is not me. You're not campaigning for... What's her name? Sifa. She wants to be whatever she wants to be. Because all the time it's Sifa this, Sifa that. If you're not in the house, you're with her. And if you're not with her, I have no idea what you always do. Well, I know it's always about Sifa. Actually, I'm shocked. You're supposed to be at work. Nikilala, you're not there. When I wake up in the morning, you're gone. When I ask you where you are, you're with Sifa doing your campaign. And I'm talking to you now, Nopega Simo. Nicholas. Please don't tell me you're calling that woman. Just don't tell me you're calling her. Hello? Hello, Nick. Mbono kunyambiona step down, but I'm going to go now, Zuko. Really, you believe this? This is not 
not true. This is just propaganda. Was I not your strategist? Eh? Was I not your strategist? Nick. Nick. Ah. Hello. <laughs> okay, who's that? Nick, my strategist. Imagine he believes all this is true. Oh, the guy who's believed to be your secret boyfriend. Mom, those are just bloggers. <laughs> anyway, I can't believe this. Who can be behind all this? <sighs> See, listen. Always know that mom is always here for you, okay? And in case things don't go your way, always know that home is best. Yes, mom, but I have to go now. I have to go. This, this is not true. This is just propaganda. So where are you going? Mom, I'm a big girl. I can take care of myself. I'm sorry, though, but I'm impressed. Anyway. So you're not going to do a campaign with Sifa anymore? Maybe a husband. Hmm? Hey, you don't have to talk. At least I know there are no campaigns. I'll see you in the evening. Is Nicholas in? What do you want? To speak to him. After what he went through, all the struggles he went because of your campaign, you don't have him the decency to tell him that you've backed out. Look, girl, I'm here to clarify all that. Nicholas! I don't want to see you, and I, I don't want to see you here. We, we're not interested. Nicholas, Please, I haven't go. backed out of the way. Okay, so, fine. That's all. Nicholas, you have to trust me. This is all propaganda. I've not backed out. So, sir, you don't need to tell me anything. 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 You don't need to tell me These are my enemies. They're plotting against me. You don't need to tell me anything. You don't need to tell me anything. You don't need to tell me anything. You don't need to tell me Nicholas, just take my word for it. This is propaganda. All those news are false. You don't need to tell me anything. You don't need to tell me anything. Nicholas, I know. And I'm here to tell you I haven't backed out. I'm still going strong in this race. Listen to me. We need a redeemer. What do I do now, Nicholas? Social media could do you kiss yako. I can't do another rally because I don't have any more money. What? You're my strategist. Help me on this one. Another rally will do. Need to have a better. It's a bit of a fkiria do spoof kiria. That's a contract from your rivals. What? Because serious? Four acres of land. Permanent job. In the government. What? Security for my family. Are you serious, Nicholas? What a chukwai deal. Are you going to take this? Wait. Yeah, you will. Bye. Nicholas. Budget, kids, media, Nicholas. They didn't see kids. Ah, see, that's much kids. Budget, healthcare, jobs, anywhere. This is a nice progress. Yeah, it is. ICT investment. Hey, hey, hey. Now on to business. Oh yeah. Are my posters out yet? I need to get people to stick them around so that my, you know. Um, I talked to the poster guys and then they told me, they gave me a budget okay. and a rough budget of, uh, they told me they have to do the design, the HD design, they're going to do it at uh, 4,000 yeah, and then uh, uh, for the for the full HD, they are going to do it at 3 posters, yeah, so they will take care of the picture, mm -hmm. the graffiti, they mm -hmm. say each, what are they going to do, so, yeah, so these are going to be 2,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,
Like, so how I tell you, that is too expensive. We can use rollers. Rollers are 70k for 10,000 10, posters. Yeah. Uh, and you can actually get someone to do this for free. And this is done. So I'll get a soft loan for this one, and you can get my bloggers. I have a meeting today. Will you make that happen for me, Nicholas? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Before you leave. Mm -hmm. Make sure you don't tell this to any other politician. Uh, Those other opponents you talk to every day. This, this yeah. office is high profile. Very office. high profile. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you later. Uh, so, Kate, do yeah. you think the security uh, is good? I think it is, but um, they should install that CCTV cameras. We need to see who's spying on us and stuff like that. <laughs> so you don't trust Nicholas? Uh, yeah. You I don't actually, trust um, you? I don't. He's okay. your strategist. So anyway, it's my meeting plan. Yeah, it is. Okay. I'm sorry for the mess. We just moved in here. I'm so here. Okay. I'm Barnabas. I'm Flavio. So how may I help you guys? Oh, uh, we have a package. Oh. Uh, we thought it would be noble sharing it with you. I can see. So what's this about? Listen, we have a joint construction company and a law firm under the same title. Mm -hmm. We represent our clients mm -hmm. in highly fledged political cases. Okay. So what are you aiming at? Uh, we understand you have a few money problems here and there. Hmm. Uh, we found out through some various sources. But uh, we, we will fund your campaign. Oh. Yes, we will. Provided we come up with an agreement that as soon as you get into office, mm -hmm. you will reciprocate it by awarding our company with some few tenders, specifically road construction tenders. All of them. <laughs> wow, so you're willing to fund my campaign? Yes. Of course. So long as I offer you tenders. Exactly. That's a brilliant idea. Of course. But sadly, I have to say this. And gentlemen, let me make one thing clear. Even though I might be struggling with funds right now, it's a big no from me. This I have to is decline an offer your offer. You can't decline. Okay. I'm sure I just have. But uh, this is a good opportunity. Come on. You see. Once I am in power, awarding of tenders will be done in a free, fair, and transparent manner. Not these shady dealings you come here to propose to me. Yeah. Woman, where do you come from? What sort of politician is this? An honest Barnabas. politician, Mr. Barnabas. And I'm here to say that once I am in power, my government will make sure I have a tendering committee in the procurement department. All these tendering processes will be all free and fair. So please, save yourself the energy and please leave my office right now. So, you don't have an agreement. I'm sorry, but no. What? And by the way, do yourselves a favor and move out of this county because soon guys like you will end up behind bars. Okay, we'll approach Jemo. I'm sure he's more than willing to accept my offer. Good luck with that. In the next government, people like you will no longer be here, just so you know that. We'll see you, woman. submitted my nomination papers three weeks ago and I haven't had a reply. I'm, I want to see the party chairman regarding this. Is he in? Oh, I'm really sorry, but the party leader is not around today. But I submitted my nomination papers and I'm running out of time. I need to see him. He's not around, but you can leave your contacts. We'll get back to you. Okay. You make sure he sees me today or even tomorrow morning, okay? Okay, thank, thank you. you. Okay, please make an effort of coming to Stedma Gardens, sir. Eh? Okay, 
ukifika hapo kwa reception ulizia mahali pa kuletwa Yes sir Sifa, Sifa, how are you? Please come in, come in, please come in. Mr. Chairman, what's going on here? Please come in, kuna nyesha inje. No, I can't. Are, are these the places you hold meetings in? No, no, you just come in. I thought you had an emergency. No, we can't do it like this. You see, Sifa, now the problem is you. Oh, okay, in the first place, don't be so serious, eh? I am looking serious. What's going on? This is the hotel room. I'm doing you a favor. You had an emergency. I'm doing you a favor. You're not even dressed. Look at yourself. Because I'm. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing you a favor. Okay. What's your problem now? It, I don't think I'm No, no, no. Come on. Could you come here? I want my nomination papers. They were supposed to be given to me three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Where, where are they? That's what I'm telling you, my neno lazima ufundisho. You gradually you think ya pole pole kwa game and you understand what you surely do. Okay? So what is there to be done? Okay. In the first place, when you told your nomination tickets, uh, you, you found them, it was only late when you found actually uh, your nomination. I didn't know it was late. You didn't know it was late, eh? Now I'm telling you, and that's what I'm telling you, where you na jua, that's why I'm teaching you these things, eh? Since you na jua. Other candidates are already ahead because of this. Do you know why they already have their tickets? Do oh, you know why? Do you know? You enlightened me that. Hey, this is Kenya. Come on, this is Kenya. Nothing comes easy. I am sure of that, and they didn't get to this position easily. I'm doing a favor since this is your first time to be in politics, right? I think you And you know who your computer is, right? I do know. You don't know who computer is? You don't know Jemo? I do know. You do know, right? Now that's why I'm trying to make uh, things easier for you. But how? I have a preposition. Now we start to now you from earlier, sir. Now you understand now. What's the catch then? You need a direct uh, nomination ticket, right? Right? You need a direct nomination ticket. You give me a direct nomination ticket and I will give you a direct nomination certificate. As easy as that. I'm sure I'm seeing Gumu. What's that supposed to be, Mr. Chairman? Thank you. Very nice question. So I'm sorry, Sana. See, first dead, right? You know, I know your father. Do you know that? Your father is a very good friend of mine, eh? And that's why, in fact, Nantara was a idea. Kuskume, kuskume. Kwaza kami uje musta kumskia, tumtoi. Like, you know, of course, you love to scratch my back, you know, and I, yeah? Yeah, you scratch my back, I scratch you as well. That, that's what I'm trying. Okay, I'll go straight to the point. So you can see this, the, the environment that we're in, right? Just one night. One night. See on Billy? Hapo. Mr. Chairman. One night, yes. So you're saying if I spend a night here with you here, I'll get my nomination papers? Thank you! Thank you! No, thank you! That's what I was trying to say! Sifa <laughs> Dedle! That's what I was trying to say now! Just one night! And tomorrow, pop! You have a dead nomination ticket! Kesho! Kesho Azubui! Satatu! Aye! Really? Ah, come on, I'm the chairman, I'm the chum, the party leader, I'm in the Kusama. I'm sorry, okay? sir, can I take this phone call? Of course, I'm of sorry, course. I'm sorry take your time. No can get a credit, take your time. Hello? Yes. Hello? Hey. 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 Mr. Chairman, the network here is really bad, isn't it? Yes. Yeah? Sorry? The network is bad here. Yeah, I can't hear what the person is saying. So no. Remind me, what of did you course, say? The network, not, not, of course, lazima itabadlika juu hata mwenye kuingia, you know, hali yanga lazima, hali yanga imbadlika kila mahali hapa. The network, everything, it has changed in fact. So, Mr. Chairman, yes. if I spend a night here with you, tomorrow I'll get my nomination papers. Yeah. Mr. Chairman, Yes. so if I spend the night here with you, yes. tomorrow I'll get my papers. Ah, Sifa, now we're on the same page. Just that, not just that. Tomorrow, very early in the morning, bang, uh -huh. there are nomination tickets. Really? But, listen, listen. Now we are on the same page, right? Mm. You're on the same page. See? But I have but to ask this. See? Yes. Do other people use this means to get to leadership positions as well? Mm, it depends. Eh? See what is Nafanyande, of course, Kunoinia. 
kuna nyota atakuja hapa i'll just tell you imeja na mtu unajua you know wewe unajua kizuri cha ji inasema ngoje za tumezalio njona kiswahili ngumu madam kizuri cha ji kizuri cha ji tabeza kibaya cha juza ji kizuri cha lakini ni kizuri yako hata kijuzi kinajifanyia campaign thank you mr chairman yes 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 please are you serious You reckless irresponsible moron. Super, come on. I, I thought mama said maneno. You think I'd stoop so low in order to get something I deserve? Super. Do you know who you're talking to? Unajua unajua unaongelesha nani? I don't care. Listen, listen to me, Super. Do you know the person who you're dealing with? You can go to hell with your party and your papers. No. I do not need to stoop this low. Super, you remember me? <laughs> I don't think I will. I'm doing you a favor, Super. Just so you know, Mr. Chairman. Yes. Please. Once I am in position, people like you will be in danger. Just oh, you know oh are you threatening you know any threat, right? Take it as you Let will. Let me tell you, Sipa. Take it as you will. As as, as you are walking out there, and you will end up in the house. Because I'm sure you will end up there. You will end up there. Sabu, you are a chief. What a shame. Believe me, you. You are a shame, Mr. Chairman. Oh, I'm a shame, right? Sipa, you remember me. <laughs> I am the party leader. Me, no mambo yote. Forget about the invite nomination ticket. Forget about the governor shield thing in the market come here. At MCA, in fact, go and try to be a teacher. You can do that. So yesterday, I had a meeting with the party leader chairman. So he called me. But you won't believe where he called me. It was a hotel room. And he actually said, "Sifa, if you want the, your nomination certificates, you have to spend the night with me here." Can you believe that? But Sifa, how did you get yourself there? I thought it was a meeting. I thought it was an office or a conference room, but surprise, a full hotel room. Mm-hmm. And they even have the audio here if you want to listen to it. Mm-hmm. Mr. Chairman, yes? so if I spend the night here with you, yes. tomorrow I'll get my papers. Ah! Ah! Matter. All these people want to do is with. to make sure I'm not on the ballot papers that day. Mm-hmm. So, now that you have the audio, I think we need to send it to the press. Are you sure we need to yes, do that? Yes, we need to do that because he has to know that you are here for change, right? I am. This is what he does to almost everybody who's running for the seat, right? He needs to go now. 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 And you'll build our campaign. Kabisa. I don't think that's the wise thing. So no, not for Nyaji. I think I need to run as an independent candidate. I wezi, I wezi. Why not? Wasi ukonje ni chama. Usipokuwa kwa chama, uwezi si mama. Angalia mse juzi pale alienda ikabidia mengi ya chama fulani ndio watu wana support kwa MCA. Ukitoka kwa hiyo chama independent unadunda. Utadunda sifa. Haiwezekani hivyo. Wasi ni chama. Usipokuwa kwa chama wasi wezi kuvutia. Lazimo kwa kwa chama. Ah, hiyo haiwezekani. Politics is a game of interest, not about who's in the best party ah, in your county. Ah, hiyo ni sifa. Mimi ni sifali hiyo. How are you planning to do that? You guys know I have a passion for the people. Mm-hmm. It's not about a party and you know I have the backing of over 300,000 people in this county alone. But the people belong to a political party. Yes. They're not voting for the party, they're voting for me. And the point is for lucky me party no muhimu. Angalia, angalia ta national politics. Angalia party ndio unge kwa kiti. You guys are already here and I have my people backing me up as well. So I don't need to be in a party. I'm doing fine alone. You want me to go back to the hotel room to that politician? No, you can't do that. We're actually sending this to the press immediately. No, that's given that's giving him all the attention he wants. It will build up our campaign if I know that you want to stand as an independent Nicholas. I need you to go to the registrars. I need you to collect all the signatures for the people and I need you to make an application. I'm running this as an independent candidate and that's fine. I am glad to see you all here. First of all, to begin, I'd like to thank everyone who has registered themselves as a voter. How many people have registered as voters? Everyone. 
As you all know, our governor, Jemu, has already been given a direct nomination in the coming elections. Yes, yes he has. Okay, calm down, calm down. And as you know, when I went to take my nomination papers from the party leader, he offered me to stay in his hotel room to get my nomination papers. Type of people who are in power in this county. That's why Katusong in Bele, corruption everywhere. Look at our roads while people are spending nights in big hotel rooms, while our people are struggling to make ends meet. Can you believe that? Now I am urging every one of us to gather ourselves in masses. Siku ya uchaguzi, kama uko kwa nyumba, ambia mama, ambia baba, chukua watoto wako wote mwende mvote. Vote for Sipa and vote for change. I have it everywhere. Nimekuja, nimetembea kila mahali katika hii ward. Wangapi wameniona uku? And I know the struggles every one of you faces. Unemployment is a big problem, especially among our youth. But here is... The, this is the time to change all that. This is the dawn of change. Who should be your wangu? Who should be your nani? Who should be your nani? Who? Are you tired of our greedy politicians? Yes. Are you tired of them? Yes. yes. Then your vote is your only weapon out of this. Yes. Everyone, vote Sifa and vote change. Yes. I am here to declare that I will be going henceforth as an independent candidate in this election. Yes. And I would like each one of you to address her, the issues that you guys would like her to address once she's in office, right? Do you believe a strong woman should be governor of this county? Yes. And this can only happen if we come together, because divided we fall, but united we stand. Isn't this true? Yes. So I am here today to listen to your queries, to listen to your comments, to listen to your questions. Today I am here for you as I will always be. So feel free to ask questions, make comments, and even debate on different questions you have. Katika hii community yetu, mati ikuwa huku mwezi jana. Na watoto wetu wamekuwa konjwa sana. Tunendo hospitalini, madawa tunandikia umidi, hata tujui tuanzee watu. Pesta azitoshi. Barabara zimearibika sana. Watu uwezi tembea kwa barabara. Usiku, samoji, kifiku, uwezi pita pale, vijana wamekumoja hako. Tungiapenda sana utuweke mudika muzi kwa barabara. Kila mahali kumeja sewage. Sige kina mama? Dile. Hali kia shana, watu wanagonjeka kila saa. Kuna kipindu pindu, watu tuwetu hawaendi shule kwa sababu ni wagonjwa. Tafadhali, shugulikia jambo hilo. Yashara zetu zinekua chini, na tumechua kapweda kwa shairoko. Sasa tunawamba, tusaidia na hizi pesa tutufikia raka. Do you believe in the change? I believe in. Yeah. Yeah. You have seen it for yourself, haven't you? Yeah. How many have visited the maternity wing here? Isn't it a great thing? Yeah. I appreciate this, and I appreciate you for coming together. Because here, I see lionesses. I do not see women. I see powerful women. <laughs> so, now it's up to us. Tushikamane, tushikane mikono, and we vote Sifa. We vote for the strong woman to change this county. Thank you very much. station pia ni mtafukizi magadgets eh, secretive eh, za kwa ensure wameangalia everything zina happen kwa each police station na nimwambia si try ku influence my voters waangalie tu kazi yao tu ni ku watch over the, the voting system yote iko kila kitu ko fit yeah so nimepanga wazee tayari wako chonjo vitu zimeanza fit yeah yeah I'm happy you've done all that. Yes. And all you can do now is hope and pray for the best. Sure. Speaking of praying, I think we should join in a prayer for this election. Let's pray. Lord, this is the day 
My daughter comes before you with praise of God. I have done my part and I ask for your guidance and your protection to be able to manage either victory or defeat. Oh Lord Jesus, please guide and protect the victims as well. During this year of elections, bless all people of Tumaini County that they will take their social responsibility to vote, to pray, to study the issues of the candidates, and then in good consciences, without fear, intimidation, or favor, may make the right decisions. In Jesus' name, I do pray and believe. Amen. 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 You believe in those prayers? I do too. It's a God that does care. Yes. 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 We have. We will win this action. Yes. So now we have to go out there, cast our ballots, and hope for the best. programming to bring you the latest updates on the ongoing elections. Results for Tumaini gubernatorial elections have started trickling in with the incumbent Governor Jemo Ulemse taking an early lead. So far, we have received results for 20 out of 100 polling stations with Jemo having 19,500 votes. His nearest competitor, Sifa Dede, so far has 15,989 votes. Others in the race include Leonard Baziwa with seven thousand. Good evening, viewer. We disrupt normal programming to bring to you our latest news. We have had some of the less disrupting elections and we are glad that the outcome is here with us. On the third position, we have Leonard Baziwa with 282,452 votes. Position 2, with 574,802 votes, is Jemo Williams. <laughs> History has been made today in Tumaini County. The new governor with 682,000 votes is Sifa Dede. <laughs> 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 Congratulations. Again. Hi. Asante Nisana. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wengi wenyu mlitembea na mimi. Maili mingi. Kubisha kwa milango mingi na kupigia watu. Karibu nusu milioni simu. Kazi yenyu ndio imefanya tushinde. Campaign team yangu imefanya kazi muhimu sana. My family who are also here, thank you for working with me through the, the propaganda, the spear campaigns, the insults, and sometimes even the abuse. My volunteers, thank you. You made all the difference. Maombi yenyu yote ndio imetusaidia kufika hapa. Na tumaini tutendelea kutembea mbele pamoja. I just appreciate all of you for being here today and joining me here. Those who did not vote for me, I hope to earn your respect over the next four years. And those who voted for me, thank you for believing that this 25-year-old lady could impact your lives, for believing that together we can build better schools, better roads, a better economy for our future, our children and our grandchildren. I am an optimist, and I believe that the people of Tumaini know what is best for them. We spoke for hours, for days, and even years on our dreams for this county. I am so glad that today our work has paid off. I remember as a child when teachers would ask us what we wanted to be when we grew up. None of the children said, I want to be poor, I want to be sick, or I want to be a thief. These are the ills that come through 
failed systems. My promise to you is that my team in office will empower the people of Tumaini and the generations to come. The outcome is up to each and every one of us. Kazi Yanze. I want to be the next governor for Tumaini County. I will not support that kind of mediocre move in this house. We do not have to look for development funds while leaders line their pockets with our money, our sweat, our blood, and our tears. I believe I have all it takes. If we don't cash up, she'll get us out of power. This will not be my victory, but the victory of everyone here. Yeah. These are my enemies, they're plotting against me. I'm going to kill you on social media and I'm going to kill you on social media. I'm going to kill you on social media. That's a contract from your rivals. What? Are you serious? I think if I spend a night here with you here, I'll get my nomination papers. Thank you! Thank you! No, thank you! That's what I was trying to say. Sifa <laughs> Are you tired of them? Yeah. Yes. Then your vote is your only weapon out of this. Everyone, vote Sifa and vote change. Yeah. The new governor with 682,000 votes is Sifa Dede. Thank you for believing that this 25-year-old lady could impact your lives. For believing that together we can build better schools, better roads, a better economy for our future, our children and our grandchildren. Thank you for accepting to do this interview. Welcome, please have a seat. Thank you. Yes. You have a nice office. Thank you. You know, it's been three years. It's been an uphill climb, but we're doing our best to serve the people. Wow. Yes. Can I offer you any refreshment? Not really. For the interest of time, I think we just have to delve into it. Okay. And later we can set up. Okay, then tell me whenever you're ready. Just be done. Thank you. I'm looking forward to speaking with you. Wow. Thank you. Welcome to another exciting weekly show where we put political leaders on hotspot. And in today's show on the hot seat is Ms. Sifa Dede, the first female governor for Tumaini County. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Shifia. To start it off, according to the latest um, statistics, 60% of Kenyan population is made up of women. But the irony is very few uh, women politicians or other political leaders how did it feel when you were first elected? She said, to be honest, it was quite scary and thrilling at the same time. Um, with the passion I have to serve these people, I took it up as a challenge. And every day while I am working, I am growing as a leader. So I am getting better and better to serve my people. What I do, I do to the best of my ability because Kenyans are watching. And as a woman governor, I am setting a precedence for women who are bold enough to take up leadership positions. So I am urging Kenyans to consider voting for a woman. Take me, for example, all the developments and the initiatives I have started for my people here, where prior people were struggling, people are now nourishing, to say the least. Based on your agenda, do, do you think that you've achieved what you had uh, laid on before you were elected? To begin with, um, when I first entered into the office, I was very shocked at the disarray that I found due to corruption. The accounts were all disorganized. The staff members were all unmotivated due to poor remunerations and delayed salaries. So my team and I had a lot, cut, a lot of work cut out for us. 
So, but within a few weeks, we had uh, all our house organized, we had everything streamlined, and we began to work. And our first course of action was the health sector. The previous governor, Jimu, did not execute a CBA with the health practitioners. So we met with, we reached a conclusion and made an agreement to the health practitioners on a payment plan and on their backdated salaries as well. So now they've been executing their mandates. Well, Madam Governor, you make it sound so easy. Was it that easy to achieve all that? Not exactly easy. I have had my challenges. But with the passion I have to serve the people and the encouragement I have from my staff and the people who back me up, I have been able to move forward stronger than ever. Uh, according to the latest uh, research done in your county, yes. uh, it shows that uh, you've created about uh, 200,000 jobs. Yes. Uh, how did you manage to do that? I made an e-online platform for people to pay taxes and to register their businesses as well. So this made younger people, the youth and even the elderly people, invest more in businesses and create their own job opportunities to create a living. So my next big project was the solid waste management and general sanitation. As you've walked through the marketplaces, you've seen toilets and other ways for people to dispose of their trash and their garbage in towns. And I've also brought back the rubbish collection initiative, which was begun in the 90s, but due to corruption, business people took up that job and just made people pay for everything, as in pay for exhausted services, which, is, which should be actually a free service to the people. So we've uh, revamped our sewerage services and the new houses are being connected. So people no longer have to pay for their sanitation. Talking of corruption, which is a vice all over the country, how have you managed to deal with it? My government is very transparent. We are free and fair. We make all our initiatives known to the public, like your taxes. That money was used to construct the toilets you see in the marketplaces. This is helping in our sanitation as well, as mm -hmm. you can see. Your yes. county is also doing well in tourism. Yes. Probably what are the strategies that you've put in place? Before I was even elected as governor, together with upgrading the health facilities in the level four hospital now, I called for international investors to invest in our tourism sector, and now we are flourishing. The investments I have made in the the tourism sector of Tumaini. We have so many sites to see here, so many great resources. Tumaini has so much to offer and I have been investing in our county so much. Madam Governor, yes. what is your parting shot? Okay, my parting shot, Shisia, is I would like to thank the President. He has really created an enabling environment for me to conduct my developments very amicably. And I would also insist that he and other parliamentarians should create a good environment for women leaders and aspiring women to join all spheres of the government. Can you look at that camera and give an advice to that mama or woman who wants to venture into politics? I would say this to that woman, to be resilient and to go for what you want. You have to be strong and you have to have a passion to serve each and every person. And ukumbuke, pia mama anaweza. Resilient, compassion, and commitment. You've had it to yourself. And on that note, we come to the end of this exciting show. Till next time, my name is Shisia Wasiba. Thank you. Thank you very much.